Now, let's talk about the maturity value or future value of a simple interest. So, again, when you say maturity value, this is the amount of 30 years that the lender receives from the borrower on the maturity date. So, the formula for maturity value is F is equal to P plus IS. So, here is going to add the simple interest to the principal to find the maturity value. Then, another formula is F is equal to the principal times the quantity 1 plus the product of rate and the time. So, any of these two formulas could be. So, where IS is the simple interest, P is the principal, F is the future value, and T is the time. Okay, so let's have this example number one. Find the maturity value if 1 million pesos is deposited in a bank at an annual simple interest rate of 0.25% after one year. So we are asked here to solve for maturity value. Find the maturity value. So let's make use of this formula. F is equal to P plus IS. Okay. So I'm going to solve this problem using the two formulas. Then it's up to you which of the formulas you're going to use in your problem. So let's start first with this formula. So let's identify the given. So the given so, the principal is equal to 1 million pesos. Okay, 1 million pesos. So, the principal is equal to 1 million pesos. Then, the simple interest rate or the rate that is 0 0.25% or in decimal, this is 0 0.0025. Next, the time is 1 year. Now, let us solve using this. So, we need to find first the simple interest. The formula for the simple interest is the principal times the rate times the time. So, we have now the principal, which is 1 million, times the rate, which is 0 0.0025, times 1. That is the year. So, this is equal to just multiply this. This is equal to 2,500. So, this is now our IS. The IS is 2,500. Now, using the formula, we're just going to add the IS to the principal. So, we have here F is equal to the principal, which is 1 million, plus the IS, which is 2,500. So, the future value or the maturity value is equal to 1 million, 2,000. 500, 1,000,000, pesos. Okay, so now let's use the, the other formula. F is equal to P times the quantity 1 plus RT. So let, let's compare the answer. So the principal is 1,000,000 times 1 one plus the rate, which is 0 0.0025, times the time, which is 1. Now, we have here 1 million times, so perform the operation inside the parentheses first. So, do the multiplication first before addition. Do the PEMDAS. Do the multiplication first. 1 times 0 0.0025 is 0 0.0025. Then, plus to 1, this is equal to 1.00. 25. Then multiply 1 million times 1.0025. The answer is 1,200,000 pesos. So we get the same answer. So it's up to you which of these two formulas you're going to use. Now, let's have the second example. So, in this time, I'm going to use the second formula. So, Angel deposited 20,000 pesos in a bank that pays 0.5% simple interest. So, how much will be her money after six years? Or how much will be her money after six years? So, we are asked to solve about the future or the maturity value. So, let us identify the given. So, the given... The 20,000 pesos is the principal. 
then the rate is at 0.5% or this is equal to 0 0.005 in decimal. And the time is for six years. So I'm going to use the second formula now. So we have F is equal to the principal times one plus RT. So the principal is equal to 20,000 times 1 plus the rate is 0 0.005 times 6. So again, multiply first. No, PEMDA. So multiply first, we have 0 0.005 times 6. So we have here 20,000 times 1 plus. So this is equal to 0 0.03. Then add. So we have here 20,000 times 1 plus 0 0.03 is 1.03. Now multiply 20,000 by 1.03. Now the future value is equal to 20,600 pesos. Okay. Try this using the formula F is equal to P plus IS. So your answer must be 20,600 pesos. Thank you.